Hey, welcome to D-Cubed, a three-minute Devo to start out your day. Let's uh, discuss fear for just a minute. It seems to make a pretty good living right now. Now, some fear serves a healthy function, right? Fear is the canary in the coal mine. It helps us and alerts us to the impending danger. A dose of fear is good. A dose of fear gets us out of a burning building. A dose of fear convinces us that we gotta stop smoking. Most of all, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom. But when you and I are consumed with fear, that's what leads to problems. I like the saying that fear will always knock on your door, but don't invite it in for dinner. And for heaven's sake, don't invite it to spend the night. So let fear alert you to the impending danger, but let's not live in a state of fear. Because living with this mindset of fear is really costly. It's gonna be toxic, and it's gonna corrode, it's gonna eat away at your peace that you want in life. And I gotta admit, I feel more like Peter at times than I want to admit. One second I feel really bold, I'm daring, I want to walk on the water, but the next second it seems like I'm sinking and I face certain storms. We recognize that we face a global storm right now with COVID-19. So today let's remind ourselves that God's remedy for fear, it's really not complicated. Paul says it this way in Philippians chapter 4, Rejoice in the Lord always, I'll say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all, the Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, it will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So please understand that you and I were never meant to live with this mindset of fear. So today, let's lean in to the love and safety of our Heavenly Father who cares for us and He's there for us. 1 John 4.18 says it this way, perfect love casts out fear. So let's reflect and let's redirect our focus today. So today as you have conversations with other people about all the things that are going on in this world, remember to share the hope and the love of Jesus, that we can have peace as we pray to Him. All right, this means we'll not be so fixed on ourselves so just don't go to Costco and buy 30 rolls of toilet paper for yourself. Think about the single mom or the widow down the street who might need some groceries, who might need some other supplies, maybe even toilet paper. Yes, absolutely take care of your family, but let's take care of other families as well. Wash your hands, absolutely, but let's learn to wash each other's feet just the way Jesus calls us to serve. Today, you're gonna to have several opportunities to build faith in others, to love with the heart of a shepherd. You'll have an opportunity to care for the vulnerable. And I want you to think about leading with courage of a warrior, to be light in the midst of this darkness, to be the hands and feet of Jesus. That's our call, that's our prayer. Let me pray right now. God, again, thank you for the reminder that we can have peace as we seek you. Lord, I pray for each one who hears these words today. God, that you'll use them in a mighty way. Thank you again for the privilege of knowing Jesus. As in his name we pray, amen.